When you want a thing done, don't do it yourself is a good motto for scoutmasters. A scout is never taken by surprise. He knows exactly what to do when anything unexpected happens. A scout smiles and whistles under all circumstances. We never fail when we try to do our duty. We always fail when we neglect to do it. The most worthwhile thing is to try to put happiness into the lives of others. Trust should be the basis for all our moral training. Show me a poorly uniformed troop and I'll show you a poorly uniformed leader. Try and leave this world a little better than you found it, and when your turn comes to die, you can die happy in feeling that at any rate, you have not wasted your time but have done your best. To get a hold on boys you must be their friend. Correcting bad habits cannot be done by forbidding or punishment. We must change boys from a what can, I get to a what can I give attitude. Boys can see adventure in a dirty old duck puddle, and if the scoutmaster is a boys man he can see it too. Life without adventure would be deadly dull. A fisherman does not bait his hook with food he likes. He uses food the fish likes, so with boys. Camp is what the boy looks forward to in scouting. There is no teaching to compare with example. But the real way to get happiness is by giving out happiness to other people. I have over and over again explained that the purpose of the Boy Scout and Girl Guide movement is to build men and women as citizens endowed with the three H's namely health, happiness, and helpfulness. Loyalty is a feature in a boy's character that inspires boundless hope. If you make listening and observation your occupation, you will gain much more than you can by talk. In a difficult situation, one never failing guide is to ask yourself, what would Christ have done? The spirit is there in every boy. It has to be discovered and brought to light. One of the first duties of a scout is obedience to authority. He must obey his orders in the first place and put his own amusement or desires in the second. Scoutmasters need the capacity to enjoy the out of doors. Teach scouts not how to get a living, but how to live. A week of camp life is worth six months of theoretical teaching in the meeting room. An individual step in character training is to put responsibility on the individual.